Hey everybody, Chris here. In this video, we're going to be talking about when are you buying Dogecoin? Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification bell too. You can be notified when my new videos come out, as well as when I do live streams. I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 o'clock East Coast time. So please be sure to tune in where we talk about not only Dogecoin, but all cryptocurrencies, markets, finances, all of that stuff. So a reminder, this is not financial advice. Uh, investing in cryptocurrency is risky. Only put in what you're willing to lose. All of that. But yeah, we've been talking about Dogecoin's price action now for the last four or five months leading up to the beginning of the bull market for cryptocurrencies. And if you recall, we started our Chris Pax DCA portfolio back in late July, and we were following that price action through September and into early August. I'm going to show you the charts of where they were then, and something I said in a video back then as well, because some of you still didn't believe Dogecoin was actually going to go up. But what have we seen lately? We have seen Dogecoin indeed go up, and now, yes, it is following the cryptocurrency market, which is having a bit of a retracement. And that's based on Bitcoin, the spot ETFs, what's been happening with the Grayscale Trust and the selling off of some Bitcoin out of that, which has been suppressing the market. But I hear from some of you saying, oh, Dogecoin is dead. It's going back down to four cents, three cents, all of that. But is it really? Is that really what's happening? And what do we see on the horizon for Dogecoin? Let's go ahead and let's take a closer look. We'll start here by looking at the Dogecoin chart on the daily, looking back the last quarter of 2023 and now into 2024. And here we were, we were DCAing Dogecoin back here in September, down in the low sixes. And we had this triple bottom pattern happening and I'm going to show you a video that I recorded right around this point where we were just in this inflection point of this descending triangle that wedge that we had here and what was going to happen going forward. But before we get there, look at what Dogecoin has done since then, since the dip back down at 5.75 cents that we had back here, October 19th. And this is when I called the start of the real altcoin bull market which of course has played out pretty well so far. But what did I hear? I heard from people saying, well, I'm buying when it goes down to four cents. And it didn't, it took off. And as Dogecoin then spiked up to just over seven cents, and then we had this dip down to about six, seven, eight, close to six, seven, five there. And what did I hear? Ah, I'm buying when it goes down to five cents. Well, what? What happened? Dogecoin trades back up. It came all the way up to eight and a half cents before again retracing back down to, to seven cents. And what did we hear? I'm buying when it goes down to six cents. Well, that's when we had the Golden Cross. And I called that out when it happened. And I said, no, Doge is going the other way, guys. And we had this big run up of Doge up over 10 cents has retraced and then again down with the with with uh, following Bitcoin down back to seven and a half cents. And it has hit that seven and a half cents line now three times. And what do I hear? Well, I'm buying when it goes back below seven cents. Well, when are you buying, right? When are you buying? So let's go ahead and let's take a look at what I said back here in October then Dogecoin most likely is going to be challenging uh, six cents up into the five nines again. Those that have a little cash on the sidelines like we do in the Chris Pax DCA portfolio, we will be buying those dips because. So that's what I said right back then. I was like, and, and this is that third arc that we had back here of that triple bottom. And that white line right there is still right there on my chart. And that's where we were talking about. If Doge drops back down below six cents, we're gonna be buying into our Chris Pax DCA portfolio, which is right now up 
percent. That's right, our overall portfolio is up 35% in just a little over three, three and a half months. Here's our Dogecoin that we have. We have 75,000 Doge. But what did we do at that time? That was October 9th. We bought at a price of 0 0.05885. We bought 14,000 Dogecoin to top off that overall 10 thousand dollars that I put into this portfolio. That's right. We bought it there on October 9th and that took our total Dogecoin average down to 6.1 cents. That's right. That's what that did. So if you want to know more about this portfolio and how you can be given Dogecoin by me, I'm going to be giving out Dogecoin when we sell this portfolio. Check out my live streams. We get more into it, but you have to join my my YouTube channel to be eligible to get some of this 75,000 Dogecoin that I'm going to be giving out. Now, I appreciate the subscription, so please subscribe. Appreciate that. Give the video a like, all of that. But you have to join the channel, become a member of the channel to then be given out part of that 75,000 Doge. I'm going to be given out at the top of the bull market. That's what this is about. As we get back to where we are in today right now at 7.92, when are you buying? We look at the Bitcoin monthly charts. We've looked at this in the heat map before. What we typically see is at the beginning of the bull market, there's always going to be some green followed by some red months. And right now, January, Bitcoin's down about 1.3%. That 1.3%, that's not bad considering all of the selling that's happening right now with that grayscale trust that is not that is not bad at all we look at the four-year cycles and we look at where were we four years ago 2020 had a good january but february and march were in the red now we know why march was in the red that was that pandemic month and no one knew what was going to be happening there but look in april bitcoin just recovered back that 24% loss, and then some. So, and then of course, during the summer, things slowed down a little. We had a nice July slow down again. And then in the fall, that's when the real bull market started there. In the fall of 2020, look at that, 29%, 43%, 53%, and then into 2021, 12%, 34%, 18, that, that's big gains there. And we expect the entire crypto market to do something like that again, 2024 into 2025. We talked about, again, back in October, what is going on with Dogecoin? And we said, Elon Musk factor has played a significant role in Dogecoin's recent fame. The speculation around Dogecoin's integration into the rebranded Twitter platform, X, due to Musk's acquisition, has kept the community buzzing. This potential integration could expose Dogecoin to X's 500 million users. That's right, 500 million users, possibly elevating it from a meme coin status. That is huge. What does that mean? How can X benefit from adopting Dogecoin and implementing peer-to-peer -peer tips between creators? That's right. Dogecoin has a history of a tipping currency. It has been used for years as that. Also, Dogecoin has this strong community already on the X platform. Uh, the implementation of peer-to-peer -peer Dogecoin not only tips, but also transactions anything dealing with money monetary can be done on x very easily what else dogecoin is better suited for transactions as compared to bitcoin we showed this elon musk's statements two years ago during that time magazine interview he was the person of the year that year and he said it we played that again on my live stream last night that that's what elon said Dogecoin, better suited for transactions. If he says it, he means it, right? What do we have? We have Dogecoin will blow up and it will not stop rising. Enjoy FOMOing in 
if you have given up already. Have you given up on Dogecoin? Or are you going to be FOMOing in when Dogecoin is already rocketing up in price? Hmm, what do we think? Well, here's another chart. This is another chart talking about Dogecoin's history. And Dogecoin has had a history of its own bull runs. The last big spike that we had at the end of 2017 bought Dogecoin up to about the, it was about the, the, the 10, 11 mark here on, on this uh, indicator for its all-time high cycle. The next run up that we had in 2021, I think was a bit over exaggerated because of all that excitement about Elon Musk's appearance on Saturday Night Live. So I'm not going to call the 74 cent as the, as the top. What I'm going to say is it, as Dogecoin retraced, came back up, it traded back up to 35 cents. And that 35 cent mark, that's probably a bitter, a, a little bit better indicator of like an all time high, let's say, at 35, because it traded back up to that level after all of that hype. And that was about a 13 or 14 mark on this, this cycle indicator. Well, now where did we go? Well, Dogecoin, you know, trade it all the way back down like we just showed into the upper fives and we're here we're here right now and when i say we're here that is after the all-time low of the bear market and starting to trade up so we have a 430 432 day window to get to an all-time high as it did before so if we're still here after the lows, right? We're a few months later, just under eight cents. What is these? What are these next 432 days from back on October 19th, as we were talking about? Where is that next price going to be? Now, so if we take this and we move it down, not from 74 cents, but to 35 cents, let's say, just be a little more conservative here and we go up to that 10 or 12 mark on this cycle chart, that's going to be $5 Dogecoin. It's going to be $5 Dogecoin. Do you think we're going to hit $5 on our next big wave? We've seen it happen twice before with Dogecoin. Is this a third time? Things happen in threes. We had the triple bottom at the low. This big run could be what we're talking about. This next big run, this chart I've shown a number of times now, takes us up to $5. Again, the last, the last big run up to 74 cents, that was 30,000%, 30,000% from the retest after an initial little breakout. Here we've had a little initial breakout. We have a retest. This is only 10,000%, not the 30,000% we had before. What does that get us to? That's $5 Dogecoin. Could $5 Dogecoin be real? Is this what we're talking about? Well, where are we right now? We are at 8 cents. So, not a lot of people buying Doge now. But when Doge starts running and it starts going on this big run, are you going to be one of these buying Dogecoin at 80 cents? When are you buying Dogecoin? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about Dogecoin's low over the summer, where Dogecoin has traded to so far, and what's in store for Doge in the future? Give the video a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.